Hey everyone, how's it going? It is your girl, Hot Girl Tara Shea. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. Um, I do appreciate each and every one of you a lot. I love each and every one of you. I never expected to even be in the position that I am right now. Um, but I'm very, very thankful for your kind words, for your prayers. Um, as some of you do know, I was in a, a car wreck and I feel like I've lost everything. My emotions have been everywhere i'm okay i'm fine i have my chest is a little bruised still i'm still kind of in and out my emotions i have those moments where i just i cry because i it's just a lot you guys but i do thank you all for your love i thank you all for being here for me okay so we're going to get started with the message but before i do get started i do want to say i do have a couple memberships that are available at this time go over there um click the link and sign up for you a membership okay um, it's very affordable, so you don't have to worry about that, okay? Um, it won't change probably for some time. I also want to tell y'all, if you want to book a personal reading, it'll, uh, it's, the link is in my description box. It'll send you straight over to my Twitter account. Message me first before you book, okay? That's all I ask. Um, that way I can make sure that, because sometimes, you know, people send me, you know, uh, payments, but it's just a donation or it's just a you know a, a tip okay so i don't want to look at your payment i want to make sure that you're getting what you what you paid for okay or what you're wanting okay also i'm not even really worried about the money honestly if you don't want to get a reading hey guess what that's okay just go over there and follow me make an account you know nobody got to know <laughs> go there make an account and just go there and follow me i do post on the daily okay i also have specials like every week every day or every other day so go over there and just check check my timeline and see if i have been running any specials or just inbox me i'll get back to you okay so we're gonna get started okay i will say before this um i was doing the reading and then it shut off and i feel like you know sometimes i'll try again we're gonna just see how this goes okay um the first message that did come out it, it said you are my sanctuary so i feel like you are your person feels like you are home you you were able to really talk to this person you were able or this person is really able to talk to you they felt safe with you You're, the secrets this person had you you kept them safe okay any and everything that this person went through you were kind of like this person's rock okay um I'm also picking up something like somebody could have lost someone that was very, very close to them. And you were like right there with them. You were their shoulder to cry on. You know, I don't know who that's for, but this person, I am I am getting a, 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 a message for you that's saying that thank you. Thank you. I don't say it enough, but thank you. Okay. So I don't know who that's for. I usually don't, I'm not quite often get messages like that, but I needed to let someone know that. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started, you guys, okay? So let's see. It's very interesting. God's going to collect what they need to hear, not what they want to hear, but what they, need, what they need to hear, okay, about their person. Let's see what's going on. So we're going to try to get all the tea about your person, how they're feeling, you know, whatever's going on with them. We're going, we're going to try to get to the bottom of it, okay? Because I know some of you um, are just like, I need to know. All right. So it says, I see you in the face of strangers. You you were always with me. So somebody feels like you were always with them. Someone feels like your presence. This person, um, they see you in the face of strangers. So your person is always thinking about you. You know, you are a thought that's always in your person's mind. Okay. It says you were the love of my life. I didn't figure that out before. I know now that 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 is true. So this person knows now that you are at, like you are the light that was in this light in their life. You were the sun that was shining on a cloudy day. Okay. You were you were all that and then some and this person didn't realize what they had, but now they are somewhere sitting and rent and, and thinking about it. Someone could also went to church, possibly, because they're in a bad headspace at the time. Uh and I don't know if this is you or your person, but someone went to church and talked to the preacher either about you or you talked to your preacher about this person, or somebody or went to a spiritual advisor or something. And um this person, I feel like they're whoever this is that went to, if your person went to someone, and you might find out that they went to a, a, a preacher or something, they're ready. They're, they they see somebody, or they could have went to somebody, they could have went to somebody who they look at as couple goals, like maybe their dad and, and their mom, or possibly um, a, a good homeboy, a good homegirl who is actually stable and got things going for themselves, and they're, they're with somebody that they're, that power couple that y'all could have possibly someone that y'all could have looked up to or 
or something like that. But either way, this person is honestly, I think that they're getting ready. They want to tie the knot with you. Okay, I don't know who this is for. Please update me. But somebody is realizing that they are ready to tie the knot and take things to take things to the extra mile. Okay. Um, I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. I am so sorry. So somebody let something. I don't feel like it's really a third party situation. It could be a third party, as in like a job or just other things going on, other responsibilities, and this person couldn't get to you. But this person is realizing that they should have stepped up and said a little bit more or fought a little harder for this connection. Okay? Spirit, give me one more message. Give me another message. It says, I wish I could have took back some of the hurtful things that I said. It was wrong to take out my frustration on you. Yep. Told you. Whoever this was had a lot of responsibility. It was too much. Like I said, somebody could have went through a death. Somebody could have um, lost somebody very true to them. And they just shut out on you. You know, you you were you were there. You you had their back. You know, you love them, and some of you were like, I understand. You know, I've been in that situation, or I never want to be in that situation. You know, but somebody here pushed you away. Maybe like you kept trying, and they were just like, leave the f alone, or just very very rude. They're they're regretting that. Okay, they are regretting that. Like I said, something could or you or somebody could have just like went off, and this could have made you feel like I'm look. I'm seeing somebody who was just like got cussed out bad and did not have nothing to say like this person could have just went smooth smooth off on you and you're just looking at them like okay you know like you just had to walk away this is what i'm picking up look everywhere i go i look around as if you'll magically be there yeah you definitely cut this person off because it was too much this person acted an ass on you and you're just like i understand but damn i'm just trying to love you i'm just trying to be here for you i'm trying to be that support that you asked me to be you know and somebody was just quickly here just just ready to just throw in the towel somebody even was like i'm done i want to be single i don't even want to do this anymore you know somebody was quick to give this relationship up you know and it, and it broke you you know because you you gave your all it's just like damn i thought but somebody here done talk to somebody and they're ready to tie the knot somebody here is like look i can't i can't miss out on Oh my girl, oh my god, I, I gotta get them back. I gotta get back right. I cannot lose them. Trust me, they're feeling it. So we're gonna really we gonna really dig deeper and see what's going on here. Let me know what's going on with how this person's feeling. Yeah, your person does, honestly, guys. They are feeling way down right now. There is a lot on your person's shoulder. For some of them, they are dealing with a thirsty drama queen, a baby mama potentially, or somebody or a bitter ex, and they rather just push you away not that they want this person or anything but they they had to push you away so that you know they knew what type of time this drama queen was on so they're like hell no they're not about to mess up mess with my collective but just know something's about to be revealed and it might not be what you want to see it might hurt you for sure i'm going to be honest with you it might hurt you you might see or see something or hear something and it might just break you down but guess what whoever this if it is someone else a third party actually this person feels threatened by you they feel threatened how beautiful you are, how handsome you look. This person feels like, uh-uh, they're not taking mine. You know, this is a bitter ex who this person cannot shake. They cannot, they cannot get them out. This person is toxic. Literally, anybody that comes towards this person's way, it seems as if like this third party just, just trying to do too much. But some of them, they might have a kid with this person. And guess what? They like child support. Go, go ahead and go be with the collective and see what happens. Like, this person is literally on some clown ass shit, okay? Yeah, this person's very tuned into what you're doing. This person freaks out about you because they're very jealous. They're bitter. A lot of emotions when it comes to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, how is this, um, how is the collective person currently feeling? Yeah, they're ready for a change. Sold, moving, physically, ready to move, locked down, change, lo local changes. Person's ready for a change. They're trying to get something out of their energy to move on, okay? Your person also could have could be watching you from a, a fake page, okay? So if you see when you post something in, and your, if your page is pub public and, um, or hey, it might not, it, you know, if your page is public or even if it's not, somebody that made a fake page, either acting like someone else or, um, ooh, Somebody's acting like somebody else. I'm also hearing also that this part that your person actually got away from this bitter ex. Okay. And 
the bitter ex done made some kind of fake social social media to, to get a hold of you yeah because somebody's feeling crushed sad broken yeah like i said there's some receipts about to come up look at this shit karmic yes yes and i'm some of you y'all need to sage you can pick it up sage sage to heal cleanse baths to keep your evil eye bracelets on do whatever it takes okay because somebody here is about is very conflicted they're in a, a, a mental prison i feel like it's a third this third party is it a mental prison they're toxic toxic as fuck okay and they're gonna try to do whatever it takes to make sure that that you don't get this person yeah because while you're the divine feminine look how beautiful you are look how look how you carry yourself Look at all the beautiful jewelry. Natural, beautiful woman. You could be a natural, beautiful man too, okay? But this person is on a hot pursuit. Also, your person might be on a hot pursuit after you too, okay? So if you've been getting signs and, you know, uh, seeing angel numbers, just know, you know, because somebody's in, also your person's in panic. And I'm telling you, this third party is in panic too. That Your person is scared that they're gonna lose you. Because they possibly have waited too much long, gave you too much time to think, and now you're in a different headspace. That's what they're afraid of. But you're, this third party could be also scared and panicking too, feeling tied down. Yeah, look, they're ready to retaliate. Yeah, they're watching you. Could be even acting like a close, could be even acting like a friend. Could be, oh, girl, you're so beautiful. Watch out. I'm trying to tell y'all, this person ain't right. This third party, whoever this is, yeah, because they know your person loves you. They they adore you. This person thinks the world of you. Mm. This your person possibly even had to deny deny you because they didn't want nothing possibly bad to happen to you, or they didn't want this this karmic coming after you, starting shit with you. Tell me more, sir, about how this because person feeling. Yeah, your person feel like they messed up because they took a risk thinking that. They, 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 your person had to take a risk, honestly, you guys. And I'm, I know you're like, oh, girl, but hey, listen. Your person had to take a risk and get away from you and, and put on a show for this third party because something here that they're, they're, something here this third party is doing is weighing this person down. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it could be, but your, I don't know if it's they got a house, something in their name. I don't know. For some of you, that this person could honestly be married or engaged. They could be. Yeah, somebody here, this, this person is trying to trap your person by pregnancy, um, money situation, something here. I'm, I'm really shaky. I don't know why, but I feel very, very shaky. Like my hands are freaking. Yeah, look, y'all. Yeah, I told you. Someone here could be secretly married and not have not have possibly told you. And there's been a lot of gossip. A lot of gossip. And I feel like either you're, you found out or you're about to find out. And it ain't no fault of your own. You know, because you were told either something that, oh, it's done and over oh, it. So you went by what your person told you. Yeah, you went by what your person told you. Yeah, but just know you're protected. And whatever this person wants, they're about to beg for you. This Your person is praying that you come back to them. Because they're out here feeling lost. Look what I told you. They're coming back. They want, they, they feel this connection. You're the love, of, you, you're their love of their life. This person wants you, wants you back in their presence. Yeah, they're tired of faking it. Like they don't care anymore. Yeah, it's been too it's been too long. And now your person's really ready, really, really ready to admit that hey, I'm single now. But you might love you, I don't care about that. You show me what you're closing. Look, now this person is enraged, they're mad, they're pissed off. But they want to come with you to some type of agreement. Okay? So you guys, it's this is short. I know, I know you're like, girl, I want it to be longer. I promise we will get we will do it. Um well, I have more later, okay? Thank you all for tuning in with me this afternoon. If you're new to personal reading, it's at Hot Girl Terrell Shea. Um, there probably will be a part two to this, but later, okay? I love each and every one of you. Thank you all for being here. Peace out.